What's the deal? What's the deal? You already know who it is. Well, y'all favorite auntie, the number one storyteller out of Compton. Stop playing with me. I mean, damn, y'all can hit the subscribe button. You can hit the like button. I mean, damn, you can leave a comment. Why y'all be watching me and y'all act like y'all can't hit the subscribe button? Like, what's so hard about that? Y'all can't hit the like button? Come on, man. Like, that's a small thing for the type of content that I give y'all. I ain't asking for much. You feel me? I'm just asking you to like, subscribe. You know, I'm talking about a comment. That's it in there. So, now let's get back into the story part three. So, like I said, she said they all better go to the clinic. He like, what the fuck you talking about? I don't fuck none of them wrong. The only person I fuck wrong was you. She was like, and I been fucking him wrong. So, we like, I know she ain't about to say the big H. You know what I'm saying? With the other two letters or the big A word. So I'm like, please, Lord, don't let that be what it is. Not that there's something wrong with having it, but you need to, you know, let people know that or whatever. She said, no. She said, because I've been had syphilis. And I was just wondering if one of y'all was going to catch it. I was like, why you ain't, you got your medicine, like you ain't taking care of that? She was like, I'm going to keep it real with you. I've been knowing what's going on from the gate. So i just been doing my dirt. It don't even matter. It is what it is. I'm like, oh, okay. She like, he ain't going nowhere. I'm like, oh. Okay. Rayshawn said, so you openly got syphilis and you think I'm going to keep fucking with you. That's what you think. You think I need you so bad that you just go flaunt in my face that you got a whole disease from a motherfucker. And I'm going to be here. That bitch was like, yeah. He was like, you got me fucked up. She was like, no, you got me fucked up. She was like, let's not forget what our agreement is. And let's not forget that I'm keeping your secret. So at this point, bitch was secret. Because... What the fuck else could it be? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you got some more dirt. Because, I mean, he fucking you. He fucking EB. He fucking Erica. What more can you come up with, right? He was like, you better shut the fuck up. She was like, no, you better stop playing with me. Like, you don't know what I, like, you don't know what I know. So, his brother like, what you mean? What you know? Tell it. Tell it. She like, nah, I ain't gonna tell it. Cause he know what it is. And she was like, I'll be expecting my deposit. In the morning. He was like, you know what? I'm done with you, bitch. If that's what it's about, it's just gonna be about the money. I'll make sure you get your deposit every month. He like, get your shit and get the fuck out. She was like, oh, no, 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 no. You gonna keep up your end of the bargain for me and what I need from you. So we just sitting there like, so my dude was like, come on. He like, I'm over this shit at this point. He go in the back, him and his brother talking. He like, bro, I really did not know this nigga was fucking all these niggas. Like, what the fuck, my nigga? What the fuck, bro? How the fuck we didn't know? And his brother was like, because you didn't want to know. He like, what you mean I didn't want to know? He said, you didn't want to know. He said, bro, we been knowing this shit since this nigga was young. Yeah, he was flamboyant, but bro, it, you can see it. His brother was like, nah, I can see it. He like, because you ain't want to see it. He said, because in all the years, you never wanted to believe that your little brother was going to be gay. He said, it ain't that you got a problem with gay people. You just don't want to be your little brother. He like, I just always picture me and my little brother just cracking bitches. You know, da 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 They just talking. They having a regular conversation. I don't want to hear in the comments that somebody homophobic, homophobic, bitch. These are real life stories. And this is how people felt at the time. So if you get offended by any of my content, please take your ass to somebody else's channel. Because I don't want to hear it. Period. Okay? Everybody wasn't politically correct and knew the words and all. Look, it is what it is. This is still a learning process for everybody. So anyway, they talking. He like, babe, I got to get the fuck up out of here. I'm like, well, it's late. He like, man, let's go. I'm like, where you want to go? He like, anywhere. I'm like, you sure? He like, yeah. We on our way out the door. We on our way out the door. We go back in the house. I'm like, well, let me get the bottle. 
We gonna get the bottle. His brother like, no, nah, I don't want y'all just riding by yourself. We gonna come too. I'm like, okay. So the homegirl, boom, we all walking out. But we walking through the house. Baby. Why we walking through the house? The uncle and his girl is in the room. Because at this point, the uncle just didn't even know how to even digest all of this shit, right? Why we walking through the house? Walking through the house, baby. Or he's shining on the couch like this. Why the fuck is Evie and Erica topping him off? His brother get enraged. Like, he was so mad that he took off on Rayshawn. Just, boom. This how you doing it? You just gonna do it out in the open like this? And uncle is at home? Like, what Like what you want? So Rayshawn, jump up. Take off again. Boom, Rayshawn, take back off is what I'm saying. I'm sitting here like, what the fuck happened? We was just supposed to be leaving out the motherfucking door. Baby, they squabbling. Boom, 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 boom. But they going blow for blow. So by the end, the other twin jumped in. Get the fuck off my brother. They pack Rayshawn out. When they pack Rayshawn out, EB jump up. When EB jump up, EB take off. Oh, I'm like, well, these all niggas, I'm staying out the way. So now, by then, Erica done got a... Erica like, uh-uh, get the fuck up off of him, get the fuck up off because the twins is wearing Rayshawn ass out. But they also wearing EB ass out too. Baby, now when Erica jumped in, that's when I went into effect. Because see, what you're not going to do, bitch, you're not going to pick and choose what lane you want to be in. You a girl, we finna fight. Period. Soon as she jumped in, I grabbed her vase. Boom! Hit her with the vase because first of all, I'm going to be real, that's a whole nigga. But you a girl, so it is what it is. And if you was a... I don't want to say regular girl, but any girl I would have fought, I would have picked up something. Let's make that real clear. I don't want it to be like, oh, I picked up something because it was a no, 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 no. I would pick up anything. When I fought my sister, God forgive me, but I bust her in the face with a Hennessy bottle. You understand what I'm saying? Not proud of it, but I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. I pick up shit. Real shit. So, boom, crack her. When I crack her, I'm not going to lie. That motherfucker turned around and hit me so motherfucking hard that my homegirl was like, hell no, but my homegirl, look, she ain't really no fighter, fighter. She'll fight, but she ain't, she ain't got in the field like us, you know what I'm talking about? This bitch jumps on the couch and jump on the back of fucking Erica. She got Erica in the head like, get off my friend, get off my friend, but it was just enough to pull Erica and make them fall back to her. This motherfucker let me go. Oh, they let me go. I went into power motherfucking mode, nigga. Boop, 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 boop. I wouldn't stop. When I say I wouldn't stop, I wouldn't stop to the point where they stopped fighting and was like, hold up. Cause we knocking shit all over. We done knocked the TV over. We done knocked the motherfucking table over. The uncle that came out the room like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, I don't give a fuck now, my nigga. Like, hold up, get up off my bitch. Erica, like, get this bitch up off of me. I'm like, nah, bitch. You shouldn't have never hit my nigga. I don't give a fuck. So the uncle, like, everybody take it outside. Well, I'm going to air this motherfucker out. He even came out with a big, chunky-ass motherfucker, right? We go outside. And then when we go outside, and by then, we making so much noise. Rayshawn, mama, come outside. Rayshawn, mama, like, what the fuck is going on? What do y'all got going on here? What the fuck? It's late at night. What is going on? My nigga say, mama, you really want to know? Rayshawn say, it's nothing, mama. It's nothing. She like, what's going on? He like, it's nothing, it's nothing. Brother say, no, nah, fuck that. Tell mama the truth, mama. He fucking Erica, he fucking EB, and he fucking the girl. His mama like, what? They daddy standing in the door. All you hear is the door just bust door. Boom! Like, it swung open loud as fuck. His daddy come down the stairs. He said, what? What you say? He like, yeah, daddy. Yeah. 
He fucking the trains. He fucking boys. He doing what he want to do. His daddy like. Everybody go. Rayshon, you got to go. He like, you putting me out? I got to leave? He said, I said, you got to go. You going to give me time to process this. EB said, I'm, he like, bro, stop talking to me. He like, stop talking to me. He like, your daddy know? EB like, no. He like, I don't like nothing nobody do. He said, so you just been hiding this from me this whole time. Why? Rashawn like, because I ain't feel like I can really tell y'all like that. His daddy like, for real? I taught you how to be a man, taught you how to be honest. And you look at me dead in my face and telling me you couldn't tell me. He like, wow. He like, me and this dude, daddy, is cool. Go fishing together, work together now and everything. So you mean to tell me y'all just wouldn't go tell us? Rayshawn said, I don't really see the point in why I had to tell you. The daddy like, who the fuck you talking to? He said, so in the midst of you making decisions in your fucking life, you think me as your motherfucking parent don't, don't think I need to know something about you? So you don't give a fuck that I don't know my kid. Rashad said, no, you just want to be up in my business. He said, so that's how you see it. So you think I want to be in your business instead of me being concerned the fact that you felt like you couldn't tell me. So now the brother like, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Why the fuck he act like he had to lie? So now the other brother like, I don't know how y'all didn't know. And mama knew. The daddy looked at the mama and was like, you knew? She said, I mean, yeah. He said, and you didn't tell me. She said, because he wanted to tell you. He like, I ain't going to be able to do this. He like, you know what? Y'all can have what y'all want to have here. He like, I'm gone. So twins like, dad, where you going? He like, I don't want to talk to nobody right now. And you can tell he like genuinely crying. Like as he walking away because his feelings is hurt. But Rayshawn is in this mode of like, I don't give a fuck. And right after that, these motherfuckers, Rayshawn ran up again and was like, I don't give a fuck. I need that. His brother like, after daddy finna leave and all that, you still want to fight? He like, hell yeah, y'all got me fucked up. They get out again. But I'm talking about they squabbling back and forth. Now, if you know anything about this section in Compton, you know it's nothing but rocks. Like where they live at, it's nothing but rocks. Like it's a driveway, but most most houses right there, like in Compton, the way they set up, they all got rocks in the front yard. These motherfuckers are slipping the slide. They slipping the slide, and I mean they fighting to the fucking death, to the point where the mama just crying and would just start yelling and was like, "Stop this shit." You go in your house, you bring your ass in the house. Told the brother, whatever is fucked up, we'll worry about that tomorrow. I gotta clear my motherfucking head. She like, just stop fighting. She's screaming, she hollering, like she crying, so we break them up. As we walking away, I hear Ray Sean say, So, bitch, you really got syphilis? Like, do you really got syphilis? She like, yeah. He start taking off on her. Boom! 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 I turn around like, oh! Because the way he hitting this girl, it ain't, nah. I may not like the bitch. I may not, you know, care for her. But, bro, I felt every punch. So I'm like, babe, get it, get your brother up off of her. He like, no. Nah. Then I hear her say, I was lying. I swear to God, I was lying. I just wanted to hurt you. I just wanted to hurt you. I just wanted to hurt you. I swear to God, I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. So I'm telling, I'm like, babe, get your brother off of her for real. I'm like, for real, for real. So he run back to the front. He pushed Rayshawn up off of her. When we look at her face. Baby, this motherfucker is just sitting there chunky. 
So now you hear, I'm like, why would you lie? She said, because I wanted to hurt him the way he hurt me. I'm like, Rayshawn, why would you do that? And she said right then and there. When she went in the house and looked at her face, she was like, I'm telling your secret. She started packing her shit. And that's when Rayshawn got into a whole calm. She, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just really thought you had a disease. You know I never put my hands on you. I ain't never did you like that before. Da, da, da. She said, no, I'm telling now I'm telling. So now I'm just like, what the fuck? So now the brothers are standing in between. Rayshawn, I'm in the room with her while she getting her stuff. I close the door. Rayshawn talking on the door like, please. He knocking on the door like, please. Just talk to me. Just talk to me. She like, nah, you fucked up. She like, my face. I can take the embarrassment. You fucking with niggas. All that is expected. She like, but really? You just really did me like this. He like, but you did it to yourself. Why would you lie with, Why would you lie to me like that? About a motherfucking STD. Why? Why would you lie to me like that? She like, because you hurt my fucking feelings. What part of that you don't get? Right? So, she packing her shit. I'm like, why you? What's, what's the secret? She was like, you ain't gonna never believe it. And I said, why? She said, his ass will be in jail. I said, what the fuck you doing? She said, you won't even believe the shit he did. And I overlooked it because I felt like he had a problem. I'm like, what did he do? She like, I don't even want to talk about it right now. She was like, but I don't really got nowhere to go. She was like, um, take my number down. And I said, well, you ain't got nowhere to go. Look, you ain't got to stay right here. I said, look. We got a spot down the street, bro. I know the bitch that worked there. You want to get a room for the night? You could do that. You know I'm talking about? It's all good. She said, I greatly appreciate it. I said, all right. So I tell babe, hey, I'm going to shoot her down the street to the spot. You know what I'm talking about? Rayshawn, like, where are you taking her? I'm like, don't worry about it. So I take you to the spot. She get a room. So it's me and my homegirl. So we sitting there. And she just started crying. She like, I can't believe I really was this stupid for this motherfucker. Like, I really let this motherfucker cause me not to be around my family, my kids, nothing. And I'm like, what you talking about? She was like, I don't want to talk about it. She was like, I just want to lay down. I was like, all right. So I was like, I'm going to go get you some ice from the ice machine so you ain't got to walk out. You know what I'm saying? For your face, just keep that on there. Da, 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 da. She like, okay. I said, what I'll do is I'll run to the house and get you a potato and a sock or a bandage or something so you can put it over your eye and take the swelling down. I was like, it, trust me, it works. She was like, okay, thank you. So we shoot to the house. We get her some stuff. We go back. On our way back, my phone ring and he like, babe, what you doing? I'm like, nothing. She just shaking it on. I'm getting her a potato. I'm like, a baby. To go around her eye, he like, all right. I mean, like, I'm waiting on you. I'm like, okay, no problem. So when we get back, knock on the door, she is like crying, crying, crying. And she on the phone. So she's not coming to the door. So before I knock again, I'm listening to her on the phone. And she like, mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I, I don't know what her mama's saying. But I'm assuming her mama like, it's okay, you know. And then, because she, she was like, no, mama, it's not okay. I should have never chose him over my kids. I should have never chose him over my kids. So, like I said, I don't know the mama or whoever she was on the phone with. So, then I knock a little harder. You feel me? She like, here I come. She hang up the phone. She hang up the phone. She hang up the phone. She comes to the door. I tell her what to do. And I said, well, let me just put it on your eye. Let me show you. And she was like, oh, okay, it feels a little weird. I said, I'm telling you, leave it on there all night. When you wake up in the morning, the swelling going to be down. I said, trust me, it works. She said, okay. And I told her, well, if you want to go somewhere tomorrow, you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Or if you going to go home, let me know. We'll take you where you need to go. She like, okay. We need. We can to the house. We getting ready to go in the back. I hear the uncle talking. To his girl. His uncle said. Man I been knowing though. He was like because this nigga always got niggas in here. 
He ain't never really got no girls besides that one. He like, in the way they argue and fuss, he like, I already knew it was something. And so the uncle like, if I find out that shit is true, I'm fucking Rashawn up. He like, because I heard them arguing one night. And if I find out it's true, I'm fucking them up. So the girlfriend like, I pray that ain't true. So like I said, I keep it pushing. I go to the back. My homegirl like, damn, bitch. I said, damn, this crazy. So now we go in there and we lay down. I take a shower. We go to sleep. Because it ain't no time for fucking. Nigga is stressed out after everything that went on. So now it's the next day. She called my phone. She like, oh my God, my eye did go down. She said, I can actually wear glasses or whatever and put a little makeup. She was like, the swelling is down. I said, I told you to work. She said, thank you. I just want to say I appreciate you. I was like, man, no problem. So I told my dude, like, what you want to do today? He like, I want to get fucked up. I want to get fucked up and I want to be nasty. I'm like, mm. Okay. You ain't said nothing but a word. He was like, but we ain't staying here. I'm like, where we going? He was like, where you want to go? I was like, he like, I already know you want to go to a room. I'm like, you already know. I'm like, but look, look, look. I want to go to the one in Santa Monica. I want to go to the one right there by the beach. That's where I want to go. He was like, you know what? Fuck it. I need a relaxation day. We out of here. So the brother like, where the fuck y'all going? I'm like, by the uh, beach to the little spot. He like, fuck it, we going to? I'm like, no, y'all not going. He like, yes, the fuck we is, we going. So on our way, getting ready, she called me and was like, can you drop me off at the Greyhound station? And I'm like, okay, not a problem. So I'm like, babe, we go pick her up. I'm like, we might as well get ready. Because when we leave here, let's not come back. He like, for sure. So we leave from the house. Get my stuff from my house. Go over there. The homegirl get her stuff. Then we go pick her up. She get in the back seat. We finna go drop her off at the bus station. So now we in the car. His brother like, I'm sorry for you, we do You know what I'm talking about? I, you know, I apologize or whatever. And she was like, you know what? I'm just tired of holding shit in. And they like, what you talking about? She like, I'm going to just tell y'all what it is. I said, hold on. I said, if what you going to tell them is going to make them turn this car around, please don't tell them because I want to get to the room first. She said, Pooh, I know you might be mad at me, but I'm going to just keep it real. She like, y'all brother touched my son. That nigga damn near slammed on the motherfucking brakes on the freeway. He like, What? She say, your brother touched my motherfucking son. So now the other brother like, bitch, don't be lying. She said, no, I bullshit you not. She said, that's why I can't see my kids. She said, I know that's why you deep down inside don't like me. Because I heard you before say how she got kids and she never with her kids. She said, but you don't even know. Your brother touched my son. And my baby daddy took me to court and he has my kids. I can't even see my kids because I still deal with your brother. I'm like, he say, you bullshit. She go in her purse, pull out the paperwork from court. They reading it. We get to the Greyhound station and I mean these niggas is reading and they is taking pictures. They is reading and taking pictures. So now I'm like. My boy a pedophile? Nah. Nah. What? Right shot. She said that ain't even it. What's not it? She said that ain't even it. She was like, he didn't tell y'all about his other court case? What other court case? The one he got pending right now. The one he paying me to be quiet about.
That girl looked me dead in my in our face and said, "You know your brother on trial for 